Pumpkins, this is quite the surreal moment. I am sitting here doing a behind the lyrics of my very first single, Citrus. That is coming from my EP, my project called What We Want, www. Okay? I am releasing music. This has always been a dream up in here. And now, it's reality. And I'm so excited to show you guys not only Citrus, but what is to come. And let's get into behind the lyrics of Citrus. Jake, Jake, Jake Jones. <laughs> it's really funny for me to explain this song lyrically because when you read the lyrics, it's so stupid, it's so vapid, and it's so surface level. All while I'm saying that, I'm actually embarrassed to say like there is kind of a duality to this song as a whole. When me and Josh Cobb crafted the instrumental of this song, it just like fully formed into like this modern take on a house track that had this really rhythmic like sweet spot with the hyper pop elements that I was going for with the entirety of this EP. There's this huge atmosphere vibe to it. We built out this crowd. We reverbed this sample together and then in came this like banging instrumental. So I sat there and I was like, this instrumental is so fire and it carries all of the weight of this song that I think I need to dumb down the lyrics so people really just pay attention to how rhythmic this shit is. And that is where we landed in the very sweet spot of Citrus. As I was writing out Citrus, because the mechanisms I really went into with this EP, my executive producer, Tajan, he genuinely helped me figure out, I'm a bitch who likes to write on a strong instrumental. Production is my gig. I want to feel the sonic emotion from an instrumental. I want to feel that. I want to match it. We started off recording based on a beatbox, we started building the lyrics on a beatbox, and it was so difficult for me to sit here and be like, I'm so out of my element, I wanna write something on a track that already is giving me this emotion and this feeling. When it came to Citrus, there was this embodiment of a feeling of, every time I used to go out, because a girl doesn't really go out anymore, I always wanted this feeling of a limelight from a guy that I was interested in, and I kept thinking that. I was like, the only motivating factor that ever took me out in the club, because this is a club track, let's be real, was I wanted attention and I wanted the limelight. Here we are, limelight giving you citrus. I wanted to play with all of that. So obviously there's like this huge confidence factor in the lyrics to citrus. We start off with, I'll be your pop star, new set list, I'll freshen your life with the citrus. For me, I think the only like fresh and like enlightened thing in a club is the fact that there's actual citrus in so many of the drinks. Bars and clubs can be so gross and grody and something as beautiful as like the fruit of citrus is just in almost in every bar and nightclub in the world. But there was this like duality and like wordplay of limelight, citrus. How many times can I emphasize that? Let's go. I'll be your favorite blonde with them big tits while your boy's in the back screaming, who's this? I'll be the sex symbol of your life. Come on, Pamela Anderson. While your boy's in the back screaming, who's this? You know, that's kind of like, I'm taking so much attention away. Like, you can't even focus on your man because you're looking at me. Yeah, there's a lot of confidence in this. Replicate my silhouette. Try hard, won't forget. I think the shape of my body can be iconic sometimes. I absolutely think... My body is an extension of my art, and I wanted to exude that in this song. I think when we go out at night, our form and our shape can be a huge extension of the way we feel that night, the confidence we have. Whether it's a hot-ass outfit, whether I'm given hourglass, no matter what it is, I feel like it can be one of those moments where you're like, I'm so confident, I know when you walk out of this club tonight, you will remember the way I looked, and it'll resonate with you in your mind for the rest of your life. I see you working hard, such a whole world you won't find it. That is strictly about like, bitch, I'm the one. I'm one of one, okay? There's many tracks in pop music that speak to this delusional confidence. 
And sometimes it's not fucking delusional. Sometimes you're like, I'm a special type of bitch. Search this whole world. You're going to find another one of me? Maybe. I got a lot of doppelgangers running around looking like me because I'm the most basic looking white man alive. But I don't know if they've got this. And that's what you should be afraid of. And if you run away from it, I totally understand. Every city on the floor, high and low, no matter where you go, I'll be the only one you see in the crowd. Re-emphasizing just this level of, I want to be the entire thing that you see in this night. You're, the whole night you went out, I want to disrupt your entire mental scheme of the night. You're looking for other men, maybe you're with your own man, and I'm just the limelight of your eye. I'm the bell of the ball. What do you not get? In the crowd, in the crowd, in the crowd, in the crowd. Reverbs, remix, because a bitch can't sing, okay? Verse two, I wanted to keep up this entire vibe. Lemon Lime with the new twist. You're all shaken up with a little zest. This is campy as shit, I realize that. You'll go blind, camera flashes, but you still see me with no lenses, okay? You could go blind, and I'll still be resonating in your mind, girl. Just think about it. And then I'm just gonna spell it out for you. All eyes on me, it's like you can't resist. This next line makes no sense, and I'm like laughing at myself that we fully put out this song and this line's in there, but it like cracks me up in a cute way, if you touch my waistline one more time, I'll throw this drink. Don't test this. Apparently I was pissed, okay? I want all this attention when I go out at night, but if you touch me, back the fuck up, apparently. And then we just go directly back into the chorus and we vibe out. I wanted, my one goal with Citrus was to build out this song that not only made people dance, but I wanted it to embody this confidence and this very special feeling that happens when you go out seeking the limelight, you know? You, you go out to these clubs, you go out to these bars, and a lot of the motivation that I don't think many people admit is you go out because you want to be seen and you want to be heard. And sometimes you walk away from those experiences of going out feeling hot and feeling sexy and feeling like you were seen and you had the limelight. And that's kind of like what Citrus was to embody. You're in the middle of the dance floor and you're in your movie montage moment. And that is Citrus. You guys, I cannot wait to show you the rest of this project. It's coming very soon. So get ready. Mwah.